Today, we're going to explore the very leading edge of technology, robotics. It's natural for us as a smart mobility provider to think about robotics. Robotics will create a horizontal connection across all of our business areas. Currently, the metaverse is seen as a gaming platform, but can they think the possibility of the metaverse in infinite? Our mobility solutions will be expanded into what we call meta mobility. Our robotics exists to expand human reach, a companion robots that collaborate with humans. Hyundai and Boston Dynamics are a match made in heaven. Boston Dynamics has you know, several hundred spot robots that are being used around the world. And next year, we're going to launch Stretch, which is a, a logistics robot for the warehouse. We're working on the concept of companions. Mm. That is, Hyundai and Boston Dynamics both envision a future in which people and machines work together in order to improve safety of people, uh, improve productivity, and broadly improve the quality of life. Right now, we have two spot robots at Chernobyl, and they're outfitted with radiation sensors that can be used in order to map the uh, level of radiation uh, without having people go into those spaces at all. We are working with the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, who's uh, using our robots to explore autonomies. They have them roaming around tunnels and caverns. We plan to introduce advanced robotic technology into a wide variety of mobility systems from directly into robots themselves, as we've been talking about, but also into cars and into urban air mobility vehicles, and maybe even into machines designed for direct human mobility. You know, our colleagues at Hyundai are exploring the idea of wearable robots. I think here's a, a picture of one of the, uh, of the early models. Uh, they're human exoskeletons, such as VEX, that physically work very closely with a human. They sort of you sort of wear them. Imagine a worker who's doing a repetitive task that's rough on the body, and there, and there are many of these tasks out there uh, in industry. Or even in some cases, make the person into a superhuman person that can lift very heavy loads beyond what uh, a normal person can do. And in the long run, it might be possible for these kinds of robots to help disabled people, giving them mobility and freedom uh, beyond what they can do on their own. Check out the plug and drive module, or PND push short. The PND module is all-in-one solution that combines intelligent steering, braking, and electric drive, and suspension in single wheel unit. We can add mobility to anything just by attaching PND module. It's adaptive, expandable, and matches human needs. That makes configuring spaces on demand possible. This includes living spaces, workplaces, and even retail areas. So now a room can essentially become a one-size-fits-all solution. So it may even change the way that we think about arch architectural layouts. Mm -hmm. The idea would be moving an entire hospital to a disaster location. Places like pop-up stores or community services will come directly to your neighborhood. The PND module will individualize public transportation to meet very specific needs. So cars will evolve from mobility devices into smart devices. Robots are ready and waiting for us to connect to them through the metaverse. In the future metaverse, with the advancement of sensors, actuators, artificial intelligence software and hardware, we'll be able to control and guide our companion robots as if we were actually there. And that's what it means to use robots as physical avatars. Let's say I'm at a future CES show in Las Vegas. With my physical avatar, companion robot in Korea, I can hug and feed my dog. And I can feel all the joy of being right next to my dog back home in South Korea. It all comes to the concept called metamobility. By connecting robots to metaverse, we'll be able to move freely between both worlds. The smart factory is actually a uh, great example of how humans, robots, and the metaverse all come together. We're not just going to look at a camera view of a factory floor, for example. We're actually going to sit there and be part on the floor working with the workers and robots and machines. And as these digital worlds and physical worlds merge, we are creating this entirely new platform layer, which we call the metaverse. We as Microsoft are building this platform based upon the Microsoft Cloud. We're building together or bringing together Azure IoT, Azure Digital Twins, 
various dynamics capabilities like connected spaces, and last but not least, Microsoft Mesh, which we just announced last October at Ignite. We've been using Spot to build digital twins by mounting scanner sensors on its back, and it can go around our customer sites and very reliably capture the data you need to build a very realistic digital twin. The other thing that we've done to get started on the vision you've described is used immersive uh, systems where an operator is immersed in a space, not only with their eyes, but also with their hands. And at the other end, there's a robot that's doing precise manipulation because you have this very direct connection, even though there's a, a network in between, between the two. It's a great way to begin dreaming about the future together. I'd like to thank you all so much for taking the time to join us on stage. Thank you very Thanks. much. All right. Thank you.